I am Professor Hans Rosling. Let me show you where the Syrian refugees are today. Before this very tragic conflict started, there were around 20 million people living in Syria. Each block here represents 1 million people. Today, more than half of that population, 12 million, have left their homes. 8 million have fled to other parts of Syria. They are often referred to as internally displaced people. 4 million live as refugees in the neighboring countries. It's mainly Turkey, Lebanon and Jordan. Now, how many has made it to the European Union? It's only a quarter of a million. 250,000 Syrian refugees that have applied for asylum in the European Union. This is less than 2% of the total number of internal and external refugees from Syria. In Syria, the tragic conflict is intensifying. Daesh, the so-called Islamic State, recently took control of one more city, so the number of refugees will increase. The Syrian refugees are not allowed to apply for asylum in the embassies of the EU countries in this region. But if they find a way to travel to an EU country, then inside the country they are allowed to apply and they will also be granted asylum today because the situation is so terrible in Syria. But in order to exercise that right, they have to enter the EU illegally through costly and dangerous journeys. But presently, the European Union is discussing a quota plan that will enable uh, refugees of different origin that live outside Europe to apply for asylum before coming. And that will secure safe travels. But the plan only includes 20,000 refugees. So even if applied only to the Syrian refugees, it will just cover 0.2%, that is 1 in 500. So today, the European Union does everything it can to stop more than 99% of the Syrian refugees to apply for the asylum that they are legally entitled to in EU countries.